In the next step, we will simulate the band waveguide with numerical EME, eigenmode expansion. So first of all, what is the difference between numerical EME and FDE? So in numerical FDE, just we can calculate the mode as a fixed cross-section, as you see here in this picture. But with numerical EME, you can calculate the mode, a different cross-section. So, uh, so it's clear that numerical EME is good for the device has a variable cross section. And uh, so as you see here in this picture, in each cross section, so we have a different cross section with numerical EME, we can calculate the mode for different cross section. We can calculate the mode overlap we can calculate the group index, effective index, loss versus wavelengths for each mode. The, the physics be, behind the numerical EME as, and FDE is same. So uh, let's uh, focus on uh, S-band. So we, we showed the, how we can simulate the S-band with uh, uh, numerical FDTD and uh, in the S band we have four regions straight waveguide, first S band, first band, second band, like uh, and the, the fourth one also is a straight waveguide. So we have four section. So I will show you how we can simulate this S band with uh, numerical EME. But after we simulate the the S band with numerical EME, we can see for the first section, like this mode is a straight mode, a straight waveguide. So for the second mode, we see that uh, part of the mode shifted to the right side. So this band, and uh, the third one, it shifted to the left side. So this area. And the fourth one, uh, the, the mode is same as the, the input. I mean, the output, the shape of output is completely same as input. So, uh, but how we can do, how we can define S band with numerical EME. So it's same as FDE. So like, um, but, but the difference here, we have four section, four groups. So I define, I use the four. So the reason I select four, because we have four section. And uh, so for each section, we can define a span, a separate span. Like uh, for instance, here for the group number two, uh, I can select custom setting because for the, our first waveguide and fourth waveguide are straight, but second and third waveguide are S are bent waveguide. So for the second one, as you see here, I select custom setting and uh, I choose the, the bent waveguide and I define the bent radius. So, and bent orientation is zero here, but for the third one, the bent orientation is uh, 180. So, uh, and also in addition to the mode profile, as I mentioned, so, I, so we have four cells as you see here in this part. And uh, so the information of each cell is mode field. Actually, the information of each uh, cell are mode fields effective index, group index, and the overlap. Like for instance, for this specific case, for cell two, so we can calculate the overlap between cell two and one, and cell three and two. So for instance, the overlap for the cell two and one, it means here, so it's um, around 99%. So let's uh, go to the, uh, numerical EME and see the result.